Hey y'all, before we get into this video, I just wanted to start off by saying there is a movement happening in our country. Clearly, you are probably aware if you use any form of social media. Black Lives Matter is a movement. We want to remember that it's not just a moment in time. And although many of us took a step back from social media, last week to amplify the voices of black men and women we want to continue to focus on that change because there have been incredible changes that are happening but we want to as we transition back into our norm of our lives here we want to continue to make those changes happen so i am going to be linking three videos down below one from latanya one from braylon and one from cj reynolds you may have already seen them but if you haven't they are just educators that i look up to in the utmost respect and they just have a lot of good information to say so i will link those down below along with another link to a page that just has helpful resources things you can do to help out because i obviously can't speak on everything but if you are here watching my channel and you have been for a while I know that a lot of you come to me for advice and motivation and help and just as teachers it is extremely important if you are an educator or a parent that we educate ourselves and our children because I before all of this started which it's been going on for way too long and I feel silly even saying before it started but I was oblivious to the information that I now know and I'm not afraid to say that I feel like a lot of us are or were so it's just important that you educate yourself and I strongly strongly encourage you to just stay away from those Facebook posts from your friends and family that are focusing on the negative we we need to focus on the change and how to make that change happen I also want to encourage you to find on whatever you watch Hulu cable YouTube TV Oprah's special on own that she is sharing where we go from here because obviously that's what we have to focus on now I just wanted to use this space to give you that helpful information. So before you do anything else, feel free to go down below and take a look at the things that I'm sharing with you. And remember, it is so important that we keep this going. Thank you for even taking the time to listen to my thoughts. All right, now we can get into the video that I filmed a few weeks back. Good morning y'all, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Brianna and I'm a fourth year third grade teacher in North Carolina. And I miss vlogging in the car like before school, like saying good morning. This was just such like a routine at one point in my life. And it's so sad that it's just not anymore. But I'm headed to my classroom. If you missed my last video, click here and watch that first. I did a project for my file folders at home and that is what I'm going to be working on organizing today in my classroom. So I've been doing too many things this morning. I'm gonna head there because I'm a little white, but that's okay. And I will see y'all when I get there. This is everything I wanted to file that didn't get I it didn't get to, but th these are my files. Um, I'm getting rid of the colorful files and just switching to the plain 
the plain ones I'll show you in a moment but I think I'm gonna start from the beginning in math and pull out my file and label it and then move from there let's see okay so I pulled out my rounding addition subtraction and place value folders because I am starting with NBT and what I'm gonna do is I'm going to sort these papers that I have into these categories and then put them into folders so while going through I'm pulling out things that I have the same of I tend to file something and not realize I've already filed it so this is a great time to get rid of those things okay so I got it all organized and I tried my best to put the papers in order so it starts with I would say this NB2 standard where they're using expanded form. So in here I have our review of place value since in third grade we don't, it's not even in our standards, it's just expanded form. And then I have addition and subtraction through expanded form and place value blocks or base 10 blocks. Then we go into addition and subtraction, just the algorithm and across zeros and then I have word problems. I have our project that we did last year. And what I did is I pulled my teacher toolbox from my shelf over there, so I'm glad it was easily accessible. And I'm paper clipping together the things that go together. So we had a little sheet, shopping sheet. We have a study guide. We have an extra page. I don't know what that is. <laughs> Should probably be a part of it, honestly. And then we have something that looks like a test. So I put that stuff near the back. And then I have just big posters. So I tried to keep all of that in order. And then I have all my rounding estimation things, which is not a lot. So that means I need three folders here. And I'm going to stick the sticker somewhere on here, probably down here. So if you missed my last video, I did print these out on uh, just a huge label sheet and then I just cut them out with my paper cutter. I also asked if you guys want me to put this template in my TPT store, the fonts won't be there, but at least it'll be set up for you to type in. The Century Gothic will be there, but this is KG second, hand, second chances sketch, I believe is what it's called. So I'm gonna stick this on and put the papers in. Something I want to remind you guys of when you are filing is to always keep your master if you have some kind of center. Now typically I wouldn't keep this in the folder. If it's like task cards or a game, I have somewhere else to put that, but this one is big and bulky and I literally only use it for this activity if so, so I keep it in here, but I have the master, a clean copy in case anyone wants this made. All right, so here's my files. I've been getting a lot of just cumulative record stuff done, so I got a little sidetrack, but I am back to work and I put up a donor, donor's choose project the other day just for the heck of it because I've been seeing so many just like white bookshelf libraries and I'm like, that is beautiful. I want that. I got one donor today and it has been fully funded and I am just, I had some um, new books on there for my kids. Like I am so excited. Guys, if you have not done donors choose and you are able to at your school, I know some schools are not allowed to, get on there and just post a project. You don't even have to think about it and then random donors contribute to your classroom and it's amazing so i'm super excited because i'm going to shrink up my library next year so it doesn't take up so much of my room but it's still like a calming inviting space for kids to go um and i'm actually going to put it right here where i'm sitting so that's my exciting news of today back to work So 
this is what happens when I start going through a file. <laughs> Basically, I'm doing my best to sort everything with the standard. I think I only have these three papers left. I had all of my fraction stuff in one file and now I'm breaking it up into seven. Alrighty, so it is almost five o'clock. <laughs> I'm going to need to head out, but I did just finish all of my math files. I filled this entire trash can of either extras or bad copies or just things that I don't need. It feels so good to just purge and get it organized. I'm really excited about this. I haven't put anything on the actual tab yet. I haven't decided if I'm going to write the standard or more along the lines of what I had before. Like for MD1, it just said time, like the basic thing. So then I know what file to grab. Let me know what you guys think I should put there. I also am going to order on Amazon the colorful hanging files to put these in because my school does provide them, but they're, you know, the green ones. And before I had all my colorful folders based on subject. So I want something similar. So like pink for math, yellow for reading, and then blue for science and social studies since we switch back and forth between those just to add some pizzazz. Oh, and also this is all the stuff that I did not file at the end of the year. So I'll have to come back to this, but at least for today, I made a ton of progress. I'll probably hold on to these and just flip them inside out so you don't see the label. But usually when kids like lose their folder or I need just to file, oh, well, there's a mini ruler for something, then I will use those and just hold on to them for extras. I forgot about this mess, but luckily we do have a few more work days to come in. So I feel good that math is complete and I love the way that the labels have turned out. My boards have been covered to protect them when they move the furniture. So that's that. I kind of want to switch them up though. My goal for next week when I come in, hopefully is to finish my files and handle that cart. But I may come in tomorrow for a little bit. So I will see. Other than that, I'm going to end this video here. I hope it was motivational, as you guys always say. I don't know, I hope it inspired you in some way, helped you out somehow. I hope you are managing your way through all of this. We are almost done. We're almost through this crazy, crazy time. So just keep pushing through and I'll see y'all next time. Thanks for watching.